friends. All right, we are going to practice folding our fortune teller. I'm going to show you how to do it. So first we have our fortune teller and we're going to flip it over. Then we are going to fold each corner so that it gets into the middle, okay? If you notice on this side, there's black lines for where we need to fold. So we are going to try and find those when we're finding our fold. So there's one. Just watch for now, and then I will take you step by step. There's two. There's three. And then there is four. So it should look like this. I know it's not perfect, but that's okay. It works, okay? So then you're gonna take it over, or flip it over and do the same thing. You're gonna take the corner and have it meet in the middle. So we're going to take this corner and have it meet right there. Make sure you're close to those black lines and inside those black lines. Those are going to help you. I'm gonna take this corner and do the same thing. Make sure you're staying inside those black lines. Take this one and fold it down, okay? And then our last one. And now we have our fortune teller. You pick it up and we put it all together. I always like to do it like that a little bit just to make sure all the folds are good. And you stick your fingers in and then you are ready to go tell all of your friends fortunes. Yay. All right, so now let's do it step by step. I'm going to unfold it. Okay, everybody take your paper and put it face down. It doesn't matter which side, which way it's facing, just have your paper face down. All right, is everybody's paper face down? Perfect. All right, let's take our first corner. You could choose any one you want. They're all the same. Take our first corner, fold it down, looking for that black line, trying to meet in the middle, and let's do a crease. Did everybody do that? All right, are we ready for the next one? Let's take our next corner, doing the same thing. Now we have kind of a point where we want it to be, so we want it to get right near there. And we're gonna take our paper, and you can slide it there, Bring it down and fold. All right, go ahead and do that. And you can look for that black line to help you if you need to. Just make a nice crease. Then you're going to grab another one once you're done with this. Okay, everybody grab whichever corner you want. If you want to, you can even turn it to help you. So that way you're just pulling from the same upper corner all the time, however you wanna do it. So let's grab that last one or the next one, grab it, pull it down, have it meet in the middle, slide that finger up and straight across. That'll help you make that nice crease and fold in your paper. Everybody good? All right, and let's do this last one. I like turning it because I like pulling it this way. You could do it however you want to. So grab that last piece, and we have one spot for it to go into, so grab that last one, pull it down, uh-oh. Put it there, push your finger up, and fingers across. So now your paper should look like this. Does everyone's look like this? Okay, if it doesn't look like that, ask one of your teachers for help, and they can come help you and find you. All right, now my friends, take it like this. And then we are going to flip it over so that we have the love right there. Everyone see the love? We good with the love? All right, so now we're going to do the same thing that we did before. We're gonna take that outside corner and we're gonna have it meet in the middle. So everyone grab their corner and fold it towards the middle. Now we have those black lines. Those are here to help us even more this time. So you wanna keep your little fold in those black lines. I like to push my finger up and across, okay? Now you can move it like this if you want to and bring it down, or you can leave it here and just push it up. So everybody grab your next corner, any corner that you want, grab it, 
bring it to the middle. I always hold it with my fingers and push it across. We're trying to keep it in those black lines. It wasn't perfect, but that's okay. All right, next one. I'm, I like pulling this way, so I'm gonna turn mine so that my corner's all the way up, always up on top. Grab it, pull it down to the middle. I'm inside my black lines and push across. And the last one. See, look at, we got our lines ready to go. There's only one place for it to go. Grab the top corner and pull it down and push it up. All right, so yours should look like this. Uh-oh, when you let go, it pops up. So it looked like that. Flip it over. It should look like that. You should have four words on there and four pictures. Very good. So then you take it. I always like to fold it once in half just so I can get the folds in there. And I just press it real good. And then I'll even fold it one more time just to make sure I got all those folds, that it looks something like this. You don't have to do this. This is just what I like to do. Then we're gonna open it up. Did everyone do that? And you stick your fingers in these little holes. So point your finger and thumb, and then you're gonna go over the other side. It gets a little tricky. Point your finger and thumb. And then you kind of push it ah, together. Hold on, let me get my fingers in there better. It's a little hard sometimes. All right, I'm in there. There we go. All right, so then it should look like this when you do it. Raise your hand if you're having trouble. Ask one of the adults to help you if you need to. I hope this was helpful for you all. Have fun.